Do you like Fifty Shades of Grey? Are you a fan of poorly written stories that compromise women's physical and emotional well-being in the name of faux feminism? Then this makeup tutorial is for you. With this sexy look, you'll be leaving your partner a quivering mass of raging hormones in no time. To start off, prime your face with a glittering moisturizer. A gentle yet haunting reminder that Fifty Shades of Grey began as a Twilight AU fanfiction, as if you didn't have enough reason to dislike it already. Next, cover your face in a light matte foundation. This takes all the color and dimension out of your face, making you as bland and depthless as the entire cast of characters in this godforsaken series. Conceal Christian Grey's dangerous obsession over Anastasia Steele with excuses about how his physical attractiveness totally validates his disturbing and manipulative behavior. Cover up all of those abusive connotations with the transparent justification of sexual liberation. Because according to E.L. James, being stalked, harassed, force-fed, and physically struck is all okay as long as the sex is good. Right, mm-hmm, okay, yeah, sure, no. Now, using a sheer powder and a large fluffy brush, dust over all of your poorly written erotica with even more poorly written erotica. Add a dash of color to your cheeks with Anastasia Steele's favorite blush, Communist Manifesto. Please tell me that's a typo. No? Okay. Then, using the deer slash headlights, comma, moth slash flame, comma, bird slash snake highlighting and contouring stick, highlight your cheeks and the bridge of your nose with the knowledge that the book series is officially over. Then, contour your cheekbones, temples, and jawline in a three shape to grimly remind yourself that there are three books in the series, which means that there will be at least three movies with three accompanying media campaigns and three accompanying promotional tours that we get to live through over the next few years. Moving on, prime your eyes with zero working knowledge of how a healthy, consensual BDSM relationship works. Now, wet a large, sweeping eyeshadow brush and dip it in a striking, beautiful, breathtaking, sensational, stunning, glittering, shimmering, awe-inspiring, antonyms, unimpressive, unremarkable, un- oh, <laughs> it seems I ran out of synonyms, metallic silver color and smother your upper lid in it. I'm using E.L. James's favorite shade, Snow Dragon Ice Queen, which is both her former pen name and coincidentally, the name of her next female protagonist. Next, cover the outer corner, crease, and upper and lower lash lines of your eye in a large cat eye shape, using an eyeshadow as dark and disgusting as the oozing pit of filth that Christian Grey crawled out of upon his creation. I'm using Self-Described Stalker. Now, curl your lashes and apply a coat of mascara for every time Anastasia refers to her vagina as anything but a vagina. Okay, we might have to stop early. I think you get the picture. Finally, fill in your eyebrows with a bounty of completely incomprehensible, unnecessary, non sequitur metaphors. And at last, fill in your lips with a color that perfectly describes Christian Grey. I'm using the classic shade Red Flag because honestly, Fifty Shades of Grey? More like Fifty Shades of Textbook Domestic Abuse. Holy cow! Oh! Oh my! Oh my gosh! You're all finished! Now, you're all glammed up to spend a night in the playroom with Mr. Grey himself. Or, instead of supporting a franchise that perpetuates the physical and emotional domination of women, spend your money on a wiser venture. Like going and seeing the Spongebob movie. Or buying yourself a nice shirt. Or buying an old cake and repeatedly slamming your face into it. Because seriously, anything is better than supporting this monstrosity. You'll feel better about the world and yourself, and you'll make your inner god or goddess sway in a gentle, victorious samba. Thanks for watching, and in the words of Christian Grey, Laters, baby.